Hi everybody, happy Monday. Happy Monday everyone. A couple weeks ago, we did a video on what is wrong with this tank. And this is going to become a series by popular demand, what is wrong with this tank. We've got three more examples for you today and in the comments section below, just like last time, would love to hear from you before you get to the answers, what you think might be wrong with these three tanks. Now, if you wanna see that first video we did, I'll put it in the upper right hand corner as well as in the description below. What are the three we have today? So number one. Okay, for scenario number one, it's a 210 gallon tank. It's got a 55 gallon sump, two 36 inch Fluval 3.0s for the lights. It's running at 78 degrees and it has sand as your substrate, rocks, driftwood, and live plants. For the inhabitants, we have four Oscars. They're about four inches, so they're pretty small. There are six silver dollars, about three inches big, and six cl clown loaches, about two and a half inches at this point, and a common pleco, about six inches. All right, so we're gonna do this one a little bit different. We're gonna go through the first scenario first and then we'll do the second and third rather than give you all three of them and then have to figure it out because by the time we get through all that, mm -hmm. I've forgotten what the first one was all about. So if you wanna take a few minutes, figure it out, leave your opinions down in the comments section below and then you can hear my response. Now, my response is this. We've got a 210 gallon tank that is a plenty large enough tank for the fish that we're talking about here, the 55 gallon sump seems like a great idea. You got a couple of Fluval 3.0s, which are pretty good lights. I mean, they're, they're nice lights. The sand, the driftwood, the rocks, live plants, okay. The four Oscars, now we have to think about the live plants. I think that was the first thing that stood out to me for a couple of reasons. One, you've got Oscars and Oscars like to eat plants. They also like to dig, so the plants <laughs> may Bye -bye. not survive the Oscars, but then if they survive the Oscars, <laughs> they almost certainly will not survive the silver dollars, which really do love all, thing, all things green. So that might be the first issue, but there's something else here. And by the way, this actually came from a question in one of our live streams, and I thought it was a really good question, and it was some things I had to think about. So there's one combination in here that might get a little bit iffy and it's not necessarily because the fish don't work well together when they're full grown because I really do think the stocking level here would work pretty decently in a, if all the fish are full grown. But the issue right now is you've got four inch Oscars and as some of us know, Oscars grow very, very quickly. Silver dollars grow pretty fast. The common pleco grows fast. What doesn't grow very fast relative to the other fish are the clown loaches. And those clown loaches are already, we said around two and a half inches, and the Oscars are around four. Now those Oscars are gonna grow much faster than the clown loaches, and so you could have a situation in a year where you've got nine, 10 inch Oscars easily and only have clown loaches that are maybe three and a half inches. What that means is you could potentially have some clown loaches that become lunch for the Oscars. That might not happen, but if it does happen, that causes a lot of problems, obviously for the clown loach that's no longer there, but clown loaches also have those little hooks that stick out behind their eyes. And if you were to, if you were to press kind of down on their face, and I don't recommend doing this, but these hooks pop out. And if those hooks get caught in the Oscars mouth, now you've lost two fish. So mm -hmm. The, the combo's not bad. I would probably try to have my clown loaches be a little bit larger than my Oscars if my Oscars are not at least halfway grown at this point. But other than that, I think I like the setup pretty decently. All right, number two. Okay, scenario number two. We have a 20 gallon kit tank. It's got everything included, like the Aquion Quiet Flow and the light in the lid. It's all good to go. All We're right. assuming the heater as well, right? Oh yeah. Okay. It's all in there. Now, the fish were put in a couple weeks ago. We have four quarries, eight neons, and four platies. The water has turned cloudy and a couple of the fish are acting a little differently. The quarries are alternating between active and laying at the bottom of the tank. And the platies are staying at the top of the tank. Okay. 
So I think the first thing is the fish are compatible. I, I know platys might like a little bit harder water, but if you're pretty close to neutral average water parameters in terms of general and carbonate hardness, all of those fish should get along fine. So I don't see any issues there. The kit tanks, while some of us can debate whether or not the equipment is the best long term, the equipment that's in there is more than sufficient for the tank. Mm -hmm. But we've got cloudy water after mm -hmm. a couple of weeks and we've got some fish acting weird. Now, we get this question a lot, a lot, a lot in our cloudy water video, which I will put in the upper right hand corner as well as in the description below if you want to check it out. I think it's almost got like 700,000 views now, which is kind of crazy. For it's cloudy like a, water. I think it's our most watched video. Really? What's happened here, most likely, given the time period and the appearance of the cloudy water, is a couple things. One, my guess is now we are starting to see an increase in ammonia. And often one of the primary causes of cloudy water, especially very early on for a new fish keeper, is when ammonia spikes, that causes a bacterial bloom. Then you get some nitride spikes, that causes more of a bacterial bloom. If there is an ammonia and or nitrite spike, most likely, most likely ammonia in this case, that is most likely doing damage to the gills of the fish. And so you could start to see some odd behavior. The quarry cats you said were going to the top. Maybe they're getting a little bit a little bit of air that's a little bit unusual the platys are staying near the top again that would indicate that there's a lack of oxygen most likely when you combine that with the fact that the water is cloudy you've got some water parameter issues there and my recommendation would be test the water let's see if there's ammonia and or nitrite in that tank and i think that would solve some of the issues and by the way if that were me now we're giving advice on how to fix it water changes reduce feeding and try to use some Fritzheim Turbo Start to get that ammonia and or nitrite down. It'll add the beneficial bacteria. Fritz is a channel sponsor, by the way, but that would be the way to go. All right, so that's scenario number two. What you got for me for the last one? Scenario number three, we have a 46 gallon bow front. Cool tank. Phoenix Stingray 2, Marineland Pro 275, and it's running at 77 degrees. It's got gravel substrate and plastic plants and fake decorations. It's been running for six months and the water parameters are fine. Okay, so that would mean zero ammonia, zero nitrite, nitrates at 20 parts per million or less. Okay. The inhabitants are six quarry cats, a dwarf garami, and a pair of sword tails. 10 days ago, eight rummy nose tetra were added. Two days ago, noticed Dwarf Garami sits at the bottom of the tank, the quarries look a little agitated, and they kind of act a little erratic, and the rummy nose tetras are hiding. The sword tail fins are a bit clamped and swimming at the top of the tank. Their fins or the sword tails? Both. All okay. of them. All right. All right, so again, would love to hear from you in the comments section below. What do you think? Here's what I think. Six months, tank is well established. The water parameters are great. The fish that are in there are for the most part fine. I don't see too many problems with that, especially with a 46 gallon tank. 10 days ago, we added some new fish. And so one of the things when something seems a little bit off, one of the questions I usually ask is, when was the last time something, anything was added to the tank? That could be driftwood, it could be rocks, fish, shrimp, snails. Was something added? And in this case, 10 days ago, there was some fish that were added. And a couple days ago, we start seeing some, some weird things happen. So eight days after we added the fish, or the person added the fish, now we've got some issues. Garamis are kind of like a barometer fish in your tank. Garami when, when they're in a tank and they're healthy, they're usually swimming around, they're decently active. When they're sitting at the bottom of a tank, that tells you something is wrong. Now we already know that there's no ammonia or nitrite issues because the water was tested, so that's not a problem. The swords are at the top of the tank, they're starting to clamp up a little bit doing the shimmy. <laughs> that means we've got some oxygen issues, our garamis just kind of chilling out, our, our rummy nose tetras are hiding. Fish will often hide when they are not well. And you said the catfish, the quarry cats, once again, are acting 
a little strange. A little they can look a little agitated. Maybe they're starting to swim up against stuff. My opinion on this particular thing is that we should start looking for signs of ick. A lot of times what happens for people is they don't realize ick is in their tank until they start to see the white spots. And then even after that, they hope and pray that the white spots will go away and they almost never do. This to me sounds like all of the initial signs of ick before all the white spots are visible. I would start treating that tank right away. We did an entire video on how to treat ick, which I'll put in the upper right hand corner as well as in the description below. But that is my opinion. Could it be something else? Could it be a bacterial infection or something? Maybe, but by far the most common thing to look at and look for would be ick in this one. So would love to see again in the comment section below how y'all did. Hope you enjoyed the video. Appreciate you being here. And by the way, if you want to see that other one, I'll put that in the upper right hand or I'll put it actually right here in the center of the screen. You can check it out. Thanks for being here and we'll see you soon. Bye.